holiday meal. So coming up, we're going to tell you how these Fox Valley Tech students are helping fill the shelves of a local pantry. Stick around. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin. They're busy making sure those pantry shelves stay full. Angela Kelly joins us live from Menasha with more. Good morning, Angela. Good morning, Pete and Rachel. Well, we are live outside of the Piggly Wiggly store on Midway Road here in Menasha, and it's where uh, several Fox Valley Tech marketing students are using their classroom skills to kind of help out a good cause here. They're collecting food for the St. Joe's food program. Uh, I want to introduce you to Joel Beyer. Thank you for joining us. No problem. No problem. Now, you are one of the students kind of helping organize this. Yes. Why did you decide to uh, do this? How did this project get started? Well, our uh, instructors from Fox Valley Tech Marketing Program thought it would be an excellent idea to uh, take the skills that we learn in a classroom and put them to use for a good cause. Mm -hmm. um, it's becoming that time of the season where our communities need to come together and uh, help those who are a lot less fortunate than the rest of us. Mm -hmm. So when you say use your skills, what skills are you using to, to do this? So it's, it's benefiting you as the students, but also the less fortunate in this area. Yes, yes. Uh, it gives us the ability to utilize the media and understand how all the advertising uh, works, um, utilizing radio, newspapers, and uh, a lot of web-based advertising also. Okay, wonderful. And uh, somebody, uh, this is Shannon Graves. She's a volunteer coordinator from the St. Joe's food program and uh, we see a lot of food already that's been collected. Are these the kinds of items that we need right now? Yes, they are, Angela. We, uh, at this time of the year, we are particularly focusing on the holiday uh, approaching. We are feeding about 900 families a week. Wow, and so a lot of things, that we, we eat a lot of things like uh, stuffing and mashed potatoes. And of course, you can't forget about the desserts. Everybody deserves a nice dessert on That's a holiday. Right. That's right, great, mm -hmm. Angela. We are uh, also looking for things like um, the uh, cranberries, and, and of course, everybody likes candied yams. And uh, we've got evaporated milk. And something that can stay on the shelf that we have absolutely none of is like the Parmalat milk that has a shelf life. Mm -hmm. um, so everything that's donated, should it only be non-perishable food items? No, we can take some perishable items. The fresh cranberries has a shelf life. Um, if they bring it directly to the, the, the food prep program, which is just a block down from uh, Piggly Wiggly here on uh, Midway, they can bring it to the program. We can take it directly into the, the facility. Okay, and if you're in this area, if you're driving along Midway or you want to make a special stop out here to Piggly Wiggly, if you're going to go grocery shopping, uh, Joel, tell us how long you guys will be out here collecting food today. Oh, uh, we will be here until 4 o'clock this afternoon. Do you have a goal on how much you plan to collect at all? As much as possible. As much as possible. And the nice thing is, is they got some little treats out here for you and a warm cup of coffee if you mm. stop on out. Nice. Great. Excellent. Thanks, Angela. <laughs> Thanks. See you later. All right, we'll check back with you a little bit later.